Yo, what's good, family? It's DJ Frost here. And, you know, I just want to give y'all a little quick story time. Like, on, you know, I know everybody noticed that I cut my locks and everything. Um, and I just wanted to give y'all a story on why I really did it. Like, and the story behind it. Let's just jump into it. So, let's start with this. I've had my locks for four years. And they have taught me patience you know i've been in you know relationships you know all of that it's taught me how to deal with life i feel it because with patience comes with a lot i felt like it ran its course like as in my energy was getting drained for me because of certain situations that i dealt with you know in the past and you know hair holds a lot of memories too so that's what people told me so i just been going on for that and you know, that's what kind of was one of the reasons, but you know, um, I say a main reason, one of the main things that made me really want to do it, um, you know, we stepped into the new year and you know, everybody has new year resolutions, all of that. Oh, I want to lose weight. I want to go to the gym, all of that. Me, I wanted to become a, a, a new person, like start over from scratch, like to where I felt like I was losing myself. I lost the hunger, the grind that got me here in the first place. And I just got com comfortable, complacent, however you want to put it. And that's a lot of men are scared to just say that about themselves when they either get in certain relationships and they get comfortable. So you just get complacent and you don't have the hunger anymore to get up and want to do certain things you wanted to do for yourself. And that's what was happening to me. So, you know, um, I'm always going to say this, like, even through all of this, you got to know to love yourself in all, all points of you. When you mad, when you, when, when you sad, you got to still love the person you are. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't really seeing it that way. So, um, that was, that's another reason. And I'm a, I'm going to say reason number three, man, stay away from these if it's starting to get too much for you fellas like anything starting to get too much relationships anything just learn to walk away just learn to like let go you know it was hard for me to do that it's still hard sometimes i'm still learning so you know i'm telling y'all as i go so but it's like it was i had to learn to let go of a lot of things so you know that's the main thing though stay away from these <laughs> and and if you know they're going to get you in trouble or anything, just stay away, you know? And, you know, let, let me, matter of fact, let me show y'all the locks. Just understand, man. They all gone. Like, it's really gone. Like, years. This, this holds a lot of memories to me. So that's why I, I just keep it as of now. You know, it's only been a week. But I just still keep it, you know, for memories and everything. Just to show me how much I've grown over these years. Well, you know, um, this is to anybody who, you know, plans on cutting their hair, want to start over and notice and like, because to me, hair is a spiritual thing. Well, for me, and it was kind of helping me get my strength and try to define who I was at the time. Like at 24, 23, 24, I was lost. You know, I was just out here doing whatever just to make it. And, you know, I was trying to find my purpose. So I felt like growing my locks was helping me do that. And, you know, with that, teach you patience. So, of course, going through all the ugly stages, all of that. But, you know, um, I just say, man, like, I feel like it was a good decision. Like, to, you know, let it go and, like, start fresh because I wake up feeling different. Yeah, some days I miss my locks. I really do some days. Like some days I even think about growing my hair back just to attach them back, but probably not. Um, but it's just more like, uh, I think it's a new beginning for me that I want everybody to get used to. Yeah, a lot of people who knew me before was like, oh man, you just look like how you did 10 years ago. I mean, cool. <laughs> or they said my, my locks gave me age or made me look grown. I mean, hey. I might be 30 soon, so I just see it as new beginnings. Like, you see, we've been, I've been working harder than ever, like, ever since, well, before the cut, but, like, it just showing me, like, it's motivating me 
and brought me back to the place where I need to be. As in like, you know, that hunger, that grind is back. So y'all, y'all see I'm dropping, vid I'm back to shooting videos, editing every day. I'm working. I got a whole team now. It's like everything is happening for a reason. And I felt like me being stuck where I was, was going to hold everything back unless I was ready to elevate in some type of way. And it all starts with me. And you know, that's, that's really what I got to say, man. It's motivation to anybody who's watching this, you know, just letting y'all know, like always do for you. Remember, nobody else is going to have you but you. So you always got to make sure you have your best interests, you know, at all times. Love yourself first. That's always something I'm always going to tell anybody, whether it's from the podcast or when I'm on here. And I can talk to y'all directly. So, you know, with that, that's story time with Frost. You know, y'all can say <laughs> bye to the locks for now, you know. And just like that, I appreciate y'all for always tuning in. You know, hopefully I like the new look, you know, I cut it myself, you know, I cut my own hair and all that. So hopefully I like it. Drop the comments. Tell me what y'all feeling about it, you know, but just like that, man, I appreciate y'all. Story time with Frost. Just like that. We out of here.